thanks, Jade, and um, thanks everyone for having me here today. Do you want me to push a button? No. Um, first of all, I just have to apologise for my business partner, Jade, who is almost always attached to me and would have loved to have been here today, but we had to go separate ways today. So, and also um, apologies in advance because we would normally do this together. So I'm doing her bits as well. <laughs> Will it run? Or? I think it should. Any second now. There we go. So, um, <clears throat> like Jade said, we started our social business at the beginning of this year. Uh, it's called Curative, and we work solely with not-for-profit community and social enterprise to help enable their communications needs. Um, we find that the lines between w professional and, and, and personal keep blurring when you do what you love and you love what you do. And today, I thought we'd share some of the things that we've learned so far uh, since we started at the beginning of the year. The first lesson that we um, had to learn was a really big one, and we needed to learn to let go. You see, Jade and I met through um, an organization called Y Media, where we uh, worked with community, um, industry, and students. Uh, we put them together for an eight-week challenge where they'd develop a live communications project. We loved it. It was awesome. It was fun. We had heaps and heaps and heaps of amazing outcomes out of it, but it just wasn't sustainable. And um, we spent last year figuring out that it wasn't sustainable, and, and finally we had to acknowledge that we were going to have to walk away from it. And there were definitely tears. But what that enabled us to do was to look for a new opportunity and to start Curative. Now, why is a really important question. And we often forget to ask ourselves why when we get caught up in the busy and the day-to-day -day doing of everything that we do. But as we were setting out uh, with Curative, we stumbled across this brilliant talk by Simon Sinek. Uh, it's on TED. It's about 20 minutes. It's brilliant. He puts why at the heart of absolutely everything that you do. And we held on to that while we were building Curative. So our why is to enable community communication. We know that there are so many awesome organizations out there, probably many of you in the room today, who have got passion, you've got a vision, you've got an idea, but you just need some help to be able to bring people around you and to take them on that journey with you. You see, creativity has the power to connect the seemingly unconnected. So when we started Curative, we wanted to make sure that we stayed connected to our creative communities. So Jade, my business partner, she looked to New York, and she brought over this awesome event called Creative Mornings. So what we do is um, on the last Friday of every month, we bring together about 100 creative professionals for education, inspiration, and caffeination. They get a free coffee and a, and a great presentation, about 20 minutes, um, by somebody who's a leader in their field, um, somebody who is doing something amazing. We've had Weta speak, we've had, uh, we're having Air New Zealand talk about their rebrand next month. It's always really, really inspiring. And it was one of our Creative Mornings presenters that actually taught us our next lesson, and that was do something so that we can change it. You see, we work in a co-working space called The Kitchen. It's uh, a working space for change makers. There's lots of amazing people there. And we were lucky enough to have them as our very first client. And we wanted the work that we produced to be perfect. So we kept holding off. We kept waiting for more people to move in. We wanted the words to be perfect. But after the Creative Mornings presentation by Matt Buchanan, we went back, we talked to Murray, who runs the kitchen, and we launched the website that very afternoon. And it was the most empowering thing that we've done. We keep changing it almost every day because the community keeps growing. The, uh, the, the people keep changing. Uh, which brings us to our next point, which as living in the, in the kitchen, um, there's always new people coming and going. And we were working with the guys at Mental Health Foundation and LifeWise uh, to put together Neighbours Day. And they reminded us how important it is to just look up, to stop, to acknowledge the person sitting next to you, and to say hello. And so they came to us. We had about two weeks to pull together something that would help them tell their message of how important it is to connect with your neighbors. And so in the neighborly spirit, we roped in some of our new kitchen friends and put together a really quick and beautiful stop motion video that you can find on our website. Um, but it really just helped to solidify just how important it is to look up and to connect. The other great thing about working at Curative is that while we're helping to educate and, and tell people's stories, we're constantly being inspired by the people that we're working with. And it's all too true of uh, Will Watterson, who also lives in the kitchen, and he spreads a message of we can change the world in a generation. He runs the Global Poverty Project, and he believes we can put an end to global poverty in this generation. So it's, it's messages like that that empower us to challenge ourselves, but to really challenge others. In this case, we challenged the head chef at Snapdragon to prepare a meal for 150 guests for $2.25 per person. That's the global poverty line. And you know what? He did it. And it just proves that with the right ideas, the right people, the right skills, you can overcome absolutely anything. 
but you have to work hard, you have to play hard, and you can't forget to keep on learning. Now, that's a lot of things to cram into a day. It's a lot of things to cram into a week. It's even a lot of things to cram into a year. So we're still figuring out how to do that, and we have this amazing multicolored calendar. But what we've really learned is that you can do absolutely anything, but you can't do everything. Well, not in one day, anyway. So we try to balance out what we want to fit into our lives across a bigger period, perhaps over a week, perhaps over a month, perhaps over a year. We haven't quite figured out how to get exercise in there yet, but we're working on that. <laughs> one thing we do prioritize, though, is making time to reflect. We've only been doing this for about eight months as curative, and um, <clears throat> we've already done so many things, worked with amazing people. We've worked with Fab, The Cube, Fair Trade, LifeWise, Rainbow Youth, all sorts of amazing people and interesting things, and it's really easy to forget what you're doing, but it's so important to just stop and reflect and think about what you've done, how you've done it, what, what did you overcome, and really to understand when you need to ask for help. And it was by reflecting that we knew that we were in a position that it was time to grow our team. So now it's um, myself, Jade, and Khan, our wonderful photographer in our team. Um, one other thing that we really believe is that you create your opportunities by asking for them. Earlier this year, Jade um, was flown over to the UK by one of our clients, British Council. And um, she's a tweeter, she's a phenomenal tweeter. And she tweeted all of these people that we put on a pedestal and that we thought were completely phenomenal. And you know what, they all opened their doors, they all welcomed her in. And now we have these incredible connections and people we can learn from over there. And while she was away doing that, we were here um, meeting new people and putting together this event collaboration, which is happening on Saturday. Um, so if you're around on Saturday, please come down and join us at, at AUT. It's called Collaboration the New Back. But um, ultimately, hopefully you can see that we, we really do love what we, we do what we love and we love what we do. We're guided by our why. We always challenge ourselves. We love to challenge others. We, um, we are still figuring things out. We're learning every day, and uh, hopefully you learned something from us too. So thank you so much, and um, I hope, hope I meet some of you a little bit later in the day. Thank you. Thank you.